All right, so if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you've either been in high school, you're in high school right now, or you're gonna be in high school in the very near future. Coming from someone who not only finished high school, but actually went to three different high schools, I can say for certain that high school spawns some of the weirdest NPCs we have ever seen on planet Earth. So in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down some of the most interesting characters I came across while I was serving my time in high school. Number one, we got the menace to society this was the kid that was showing up every single day with black air force energy i'm not even gonna lie to you boys this was me for my first couple years of high school walking to school backpack looking flatter than a pancake ain't got a pen or a book in this book bag you know what i'm saying honestly i don't even know why i wore the damn thing to school i think it was just a fit in because everybody else had one this was the type of kid in school that if you looked at him weird he would be trying to see you outside hands are ready to e for everyone that includes your your grandma if she tries to step in. Menaces to society be doing the most outlandish shit too. I remember one time I was in class with my friends and every single time the teacher would turn around, I would hit my vape and blow it out into the classroom and blow it away really quickly before he turned back around and looked at me. The type of shit that you couldn't even make sense out of it even if you tried, but that's what makes him a menace to society. Number two, we got the Rizzler. This would be the brother at school that can pull any female he wants, no problem. He doesn't pull every single girl in the school because obviously that's impossible, but he pulls enough to leave you wondering. If you have a Rizzler at your school, make him your homie right now because he clearly has the juice. I remember when I was in school, we had ourselves the Rizzler of the high school, and I wouldn't say that we were homies, but we were definitely acquaintances. And just from being around, bro, I was definitely able to pick up a couple of things. Now, the big thing about the high school Rizzler is usually Usually they're only the Rizzler for high school and then maybe a little bit of college and they tend to fall off once adulting comes into play. But hey shit, at least they had their fun while it lasted. Shout out to the Rizzler. Number three, we got the Stoner Baloner. These were the kids that were showing up to school smelling like Bob Marley and Febreze. Bro was in Yodi Land for half the day. He didn't learn a goddamn thing. He's only there because his parents make him go. I'm not gonna lie, for my final year of high school, this was 100% percent me i would come back the fourth period after lunch break in another goddamn dimension and i would just sleep all of fourth period and my fourth period teacher he was a criminal justice teacher and he had actually previously been a lawyer for some reason he decided to be a teacher afterwards and i know bro knew what i was doing but for some reason he would just let it slide every single day so shout out to him and shout out to all the stoner baloners out there at number four we have the weird kid, the freak, the Eugene, as some of you more cultured people might say out there. Now, of course, at school, you have a bunch of mixing pot of weirdos, but every single school has one or two kids that are absolute freaks. And this could be having you on the edge of your goddamn seat. Walk into the classroom, you don't know what's in that heavy ass looking backpack. As soon as he unzips that bitch, I'm ready to run out the fucking door. Bro smells like Cheeto puffs and dirty socks and looks like he just got done playing Apex Legends all night long. For some reason, these kids always got the bling bling boy fade. And you know for a fact, their most used app on their phone is Discord. At number five, we have the goth kids. Now, every single school has goth kids. And I think the biggest issue with them is not necessarily what they like, but they have to let everybody know that they're goth in every way possible. When I was in high school, I don't know if they still do this, but these weird motherfuckers like to wear these like clip on tails. It was the weirdest shit ever. Why would you? want to walk around with a fucking tail you little freak then of course they have the signature webbed everything webbed shirts webbed leggings they be coming to school with boots with chains on them bunny ears they were always the kind of people to seem to act like they don't want attention but then they come to school wearing the most outlandish shit and absolutely without fail they all rock the same exact haircut it looked like a combination of justin bieber and leafy is here even the female somehow managed to rock the same style of haircut, just in a different way. Without a doubt, these are some of the most unapproachable people at your entire school. At number six, we have the anime kids. Now, I'm not talking about the people who enjoy watching anime. I'm cool with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's the kids that make anime their entire life. Like, they're literally living in an anime. The kids that act like they're in an anime, they would be reenacting scenes of anime with their friends in the classroom. Like, bro, we're in school right now. You could watch 
watch your anime when you get home later. These were always the kids that would run to get their lunch as soon as possible so they could get outside and start their anime battles with their other anime homies. If you watch anime and you're not weird, these are the type of kids that you should hate because these are the kids that give you guys a bad reputation. At number 7, we got the teacher's pet. Now we could also group this kid in with the anime kids, with the weird kids, and maybe even with the goth kids because honestly this is just an absolute freak, an absolute creature. There's no positive coming out of this person. This is the type of freak that would remind the teacher about homework. You can't say anything around this guy. You can't even talk about females around this guy. If he hears you talking about a girl, he will probably go up to her and tell her you were talking about her. This is simply just an L of a person. And the absolute worst part about it is these type of people never go away. Even when you get out of school, you will always have a teacher's pet type of person. When you start working a job as an adult, you'll run into people who act just like teacher's pets, who suck up to their bosses and snitch for their bosses and get other people in trouble in hopes of getting brownie points just like a teacher's pet does. If you're a teacher's pet, if you're this type of person, you're a fucking loser and nobody likes you. At number 8, we got the ROTC kid. Now for some reason at every single high school, you always have that one kid that for some reason thinks he's already in the army. Like we get it bro, you're gonna go into the military after graduation, but so are at least 50 other male graduates. You're nothing special. You're one of hundreds of thousands that are also going into the army. You don't need to wear your boots and outfit every single fucking day. This would be the type of kid that not only wore an army outfit, but also had the camo backpack to match. There is absolutely nothing wrong with going into the military, but until you actually go into the military and serve your country, you gotta take the fucking camouflage off, bro. You look stupid. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Every single high school has at least one ROTC kid. But with that being said, boys, please let me know down in the comment section if there is any types of students I missed. If this video gets a lot of views and you guys enjoy it, I might make a part two. Drop a like on this video if I was right on any of these kids. If there's any of these kids at your school, drop a like on the video. Thank you so much to my members, Jew Bear and that archive guy. You two are absolutely insane. And with all of that being said, boys, I will see you in the next one.